Welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to hook up our new wireless controller. Now, if you have a look online or at the sheet you get with the motor, you'll see the connections are quite quite clear. First is motor positive, the next is battery positive, the next is battery negative, and the last is motor negative. And then on, you'll see on this side we've got our limit switches, our A limit switch, which is a forward limit switch, and the B limit switch, is, which is the reverse limit switch. Then we've got our current adjust down here and our PWM adjust. So let's hook this thing up and uh, get it working. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and you'll need a small flathead screwdriver to install the limit switches. I've just pre installed them on this one, but you can see it's just two wires, two connections. Same with this one, two wires, two connections. Now, if we look at the diagram, the first one we need to hook up is the motor positive. So, we hook the motor positive up. The next one in the, in the line is the battery positive. So we need to hook the battery positive up. Just run our leads over. Okay, there's our battery positive. If we have a look, there's eight terminals. The first two are motor positive. They correspond to the drawing. So you'll see the first two are motor positive, the next two are battery positive, the next two are battery negative, and the next two are motor negative. So we know those first two are motor positive, and we know the next two are battery positive. So we swap our battery wire in there and tighten it up. That's our motor positive done. Now the next one is the battery negative. The unit's not powered up yet, so there's no power going to the unit as yet. So, that's our battery negative. So you can see, motor positive, motor positive there. Then we've got battery positive, for these two, battery negative for these two, and then motor negative for these two. So we'll just hook the motor negative up. Now that's all the connections made. You see, all our connections are there. Okay, let's put power to it. All right. First thing we need to do, especially for this one because I haven't trained it with a remote yet, if I push the buttons, nothing happens. So we need to push this button once, and then we need to push any button on the remote. And now our unit's trained. So we can push A to go forward, or B to go backwards. Now the control is set up for momentary, which means for as long as I hold the button, it will power on. When I take my finger off the button, it will stop. So I've got A, forward, B, backwards. Okay, now we need to set up our speed and our current. So the way to set the speed up is to use your small screwdriver and there's a small trim pot here. I'll just bring this closer so you can see it. Just there, that's our motor speed adjustment. Just put this wire back on, it just came off. Okay, so we hold the unit steady and we adjust our speed. You have it turn it really, really slow. Or we can go really, really fast. Okay, we'll set it at that speed because it's not too loud. And you can still see what's going on. Okay, so we need to test our limit switches. So we press A and we hold A down. Now this one, the very first one here, is the A limit switch. So when that's 
on, that limits which is tripped. The motor cannot go forward anymore even though we push the A. All we can do is push B. Now that will release and our A and B will work again. Now what happened here is that the current limit is set too low. To reset the current limit we need to push D. Now we need to turn it up to the point where it won't do that anymore. See, we can now adjust our go from forward to reverse without triggering the current limit. If we want it to make it so the current limit's more sensitive, we can do that. It's just a matter of adjusting it until it sets it off. See, that way we need to press D to reset it and we're ready to go again. Now we've got it in the forward reverse direction where if the motor stalls it will trigger the fault condition. So again press D to reset it. Now we test our B limit switch. Okay when the B limit switch is triggered we can no longer press B. All we can do is press A to reverse the motor. Now we can take that limit switch off. So it's quite simple to operate. All you need to do is just set it up and power it up and it's ready to go. If at any stage you need to add another control, all you need to do is simply push the button again and push the button, any button, on the new control. As soon as you've done that, they'll pair and it'll know it for the life of the unit. That's how simple it is. I think I've covered everything. If you need any help, please feel free to shoot us an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.